Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. As promised, we're back with yet another episode where we'll help you tackle a technical issue in your daily life. For today's video, we've decided to discuss different methods to fix the generic audio driver detected error in Windows 10. This is a common Windows error that many users encounter after a device on their laptop or PC stops working. The error simply means that the audio devices aren't responding to the computer's commands and that's why you're not hearing any sounds. If you're facing this same issue, continue watching. This video will help you fix this issue and make your PC play audio again. But before going any further, make sure to subscribe to our channel as we frequently post informational videos and you would not want to miss out on any of them. Now, to fix the generic audio driver detected issue, let's first understand what triggers this error. In general, you'll encounter this error after running the troubleshooter for fixing the audio issues on your PC. Since the troubleshooter can't find any working solutions, it'll prompt this error instead. This simply means that the audio devices have stopped responding to the commands, and that's why your PC is unable to play any sounds whatsoever. How to troubleshoot generic audio driver detected in Windows 10. So how do you fix the generic audio driver error? Well, let's quickly discuss different working solutions that'll help you fix this issue on your Windows PC. Enable audio services. If the audio services are disabled on your PC, you'll definitely run into the generic audio driver error. So start by checking the status of audio services and turn them on if they're disabled. Step one. Press the Windows and R buttons to launch the run window. Type services.msc and hit enter. Step two, scroll down to look for the Windows Audio and Windows Audio Endpoint Builder services. Make sure that the services are set to running and if not, double click each service one by one to enable them. Step three, after double clicking, you'll be prompted to a new dialog box. Here, set the startup type as automatic and click OK to save your changes. Now, close all windows and check if your PC starts playing audio or not. Method two, update your audio drivers. If the previous method didn't fix the error, there's a huge probability that you're using outdated audio drivers. So the generic audio driver detected fix in this situation would be to update the drivers. Step one, press the Windows and X buttons and select Device Manager. Step two, in the Device Manager window, expand the Sound, Video and Game Controllers option. Now, right click the audio device and click Update Driver. Step three, your PC will automatically find the right audio drivers. Make sure that you're connected to a stable internet connection. Once the drivers are successfully updated, simply restart your PC and check if the issue persists or not. Method three, reinstall audio drivers. Apart from outdated drivers, even faulty drivers can trigger the generic audio driver issue on a Windows PC. If this is the case, then you'll have to uninstall these drivers and install them from scratch once again. Step one, again, open device manager by pressing the Windows and X keys. Step two, locate the audio devices and right click on them, but this time select uninstall drivers and wait for the uninstallation process to complete. Step three, once the drivers are successfully uninstalled, right click again and click the update drivers button. That's it, Windows will automatically install the required drivers and you won't encounter the generic audio driver detected error anymore. Method four, check connections. Many times, issues related to audio can appear due to loose connections to your speaker or headphones with the port. Or it might be possible that the jack is having issues. So, as the final suggestion, check all cables and get them replaced if any issues persist. So that's how you can fix the audio issues on your laptop when generic audio driver error occurs. Now, many users also end up accidentally deleting data while trying to fix this error. This generally happens when you think that there's something wrong with a media file that you're trying to play. If the same has happened with you, we've got an incredible solution to recover lost data. You can use Wondershare Recover It to get back the accidentally deleted data in no time. It's a professional data recovery tool that'll scan your PC for the deleted files and help you recover them with one click. Recover It supports different file types, which means that you'll be able to restore all of your data without any hassle. 
let's quickly walk you through the step-by-step -step process of using Recoverit to restore deleted data on a Windows PC. Step one, install Wondershare Recoverit on your PC and launch the software. Now, in the home screen, select the location from where the files were deleted. Step two, click Start, and Recoverit will start scanning the particular location for deleted files. Step three, after the scanning completes, select the files that you want to retrieve and click Recover. You can also tap the Preview button to check if you've selected the right files. Recoverit will save the selected files safely on your PC. That's it for today's video. We hope this video helped you solve the generic audio driver detected problem on your PC. If the video was helpful, drop a like and make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get any future videos. If you have any feedback for those future videos, do let us know in the comment section down below. So goodbye and we'll see you in the next episode.